First of all, we need to use the special tool for the move the first external outside ring is colored by horns. Here you don't see it, but it will be really easy using this kind of tool to remove it because there is no glue. After removed the external outside tool, you can start to remove the internal black ring. In this way, as you can see, it's really fast. Now remove the memory card, remove the battery, and now we can start to remove the external front panel of the case. Here you can see the line where you can insert your tool or open it and remove it. Gently insert it and start to bend the tool and it's done. This is the power on off button and this is the adhesive for the warranty. Please be careful to those wires because it will be really easy to broken them and is for this way, for this reason, that uh, I suggest to you to take a broken USB cable with the small wires for replace them. Trust me, you will broken it. Now we need to use the small screwdriver to remove all those screws. If you have some problem with the small screws, use a magnetized screw driver or place a magnet on your screwdriver. Now, always using the special tool, remove the internal front panel gently. Well, now that we open it, here we have always those damn cables that, trust me, you will broken it. And uh, we can start to see the inside of the, the action cam, the battery case, the lens. Here we have cable for the Wi-Fi connection and here we have the first obstacle the metal shield of the USB cable is placed inside the case so if you want to remove the motherboard for the case we need to open gently the plastic of the case for be able to remove to extract all the motherboard from the inside so keep always on your mind this cable and uh, using your special tool start with a small bending of the motherboard opening the case don't be afraid to use a little force it will, it will not broken If you fail, start to extract the other side of the motherboard. And remember that the monitor is linked to the motherboard. So be gently if you do it manually. And it's done. We have all the motherboard outside the case. As I said, the LCD screen is linked to the back side of the motherboard. For remove it, Unplug the two brakes on the port using a, a screwdriver with a special tool. Yes, I love it. Now remove the backplate shield with a small screwdriver. Here we have two small plastic guides. We need to remove gently the battery holder, pulling with your hand, and it's done. 
always be careful to the small wires. So, the motherboard is all open and here you can see the port for the CCD sensor. It's a good news because maybe in the future, if you want, if you've broken it, you can replace it. My action cam was being just hacked, but here you will find the glue that block the lens. Well, we have three ways to remove the glue. The first way could be the diamond tip with the mini drill. The second way could be the brass brush and the third way could be the welder, the electronic welder. With the welder you can heat up the glue the base of the lens but be careful to the holder of the lens because it's made, it's made of plastic so gently hit the glue and remove it and then you can also use the brass or the diamond bit maybe there is also a fourth way that I suggest is to use a small screwdriver with a flat tip to remove gently the beginning the main mass of the glue and then after you can use the brush or the welder when you will see that the glue is few try to turn gently the lens and uh, after a few force you will see that the lens it will be unblocked and it's done the lens is away and here you can see the main sensor of your action gun